Here's a 19 inch Sylvania Color TV from 1982 that uses the E32 chassis. This TV was actually made after North American Phillips, or NAP, acquired the Sylvania and Philco brand names from GTE in mid-1981. I acquired this particular TV from a repair shop who had set it aside long, a long time ago because it supposedly needs a flyback transformer. Whether that's indeed the case, I don't know, but I suspect it probably is just from what brief checks I've made so far. This is just your standard low-end 19-inch color TV. you got your all-phone volume knob, your AFC switch, or in some cases it's called AFT, your VHF tuner, your UHF tuner, and your little flip-down door where your secondary controls are, brightness, sharpness, color, tint, etc. So let's turn this thing around and see what the inside looks like. Okay, here's the inside of the TV, and as you can see, uh, it uses a single board chassis along with a another little printed circuit board on the CRT that contains the video output components. Here's our VHF, UHF tuner, auxiliary control board, speaker, deflection yoke, and our permanent magnet conver convergence and purity assembly. Here's the flyback transformer that's supposedly bad, and this particular part is responsible for generating the approximately 25,000 volts for the CRT second anode as well as a few thousand volts for focus voltage for the CRT as well as other operating voltages for the rest of the chassis here. When I got this set it was totally dead and I discovered the B plus fuse was missing as you can see right here. So instead of slapping another fuse in there just to watch it blow or possibly damage other parts. I'm going to substitute the fuse with a standard 100 watt incandescent light bulb. That way if there's any shorts in the chassis the light bulb will serve as a load to help protect other components on the TV chassis from damage. I've worked on a few of these Sylvania sets over the years and they actually produce a nice picture and by the way I did check the picture tube in this set and it's very strong actually that's the first thing I do when I get an old TV is I check the picture tube and if it's good then I'll proceed if it's not then it becomes an organ donor okay let me construct my little crude light bulb tester and we'll fire this thing up and see what happens. Hopefully it won't literally fire up. And from everything I've read, the flyback transformers in these sets were a very high failure part. Okay, I have my light bulb connected to the television set and we're plugged into my Variac and we're starting this out at 60 volts and I can say there's a pretty safe bet we have a short here it should not be doing that if everything's okay then that light should just barely glow at 120 volts and we're only running 60 volts here so uh, pretty safe bet this flyback is toast and I've already checked the secondary sources coming off the flyback and I can find nothing shorted so I think we're in for a new flyback here now the fun part's going to be finding one Okay, here we are with 120 volts applied to the TV. 
and I'm going to turn this on very briefly. That should not happen. Under normal circumstances, that light bulb should just barely glow, or at best, it should come on brightly for a split second and then dim back down. So we definitely have a short here. And since all my own meter test of the horizontal output transistor and the secondary sources off of the flyback re reveal no apparent shorts, then I'm going to assume that this flyback is shorted internally. So what I'm going to do is remove the original flyback and I'm going to test the flyback with this Syncor analyzer here which has a flyback ringer built into it and just see how it tests with that. I'm sure it's going to turn up bad. Okay, I have the flyback removed from the television set and I have it connected to my Syncor video analyzer which has a built-in flyback and yoke tester feature and have the control set to ringing test turn on the power and by the way the way you do this you connect uh, one lead from the tester to the B plus input to the flyback and the other lead to the pin on the flyback that collects to the connects to the collector the horizontal output transistor and I will rotate this ringing test knob through its positions And as you can tell, my suspicions are confirmed. We need a flyback transformer for this television set. So if anyone out there has a flyback or knows of where I can get a flyback for one of these old Sylvania E32 chassis TVs, I would appreciate the help. Okay, that's about all we can do for tonight, so thanks for watching and as soon as I get a flyback transformer that's good, you should be seeing this TV in action.